Hello everyone, it's Jared the RPG Lord, and welcome back to more Eternal Sonata. Last time, we went through the pirate ship, and we fought Captain Dulce, and beat her on our first try. Wow, and in this episode, we are going to go inside, but first, let's get this. It's beautiful, there's something glowing inside. Acquired a goddess bouquet? Okay, now let's go inside. Grand Vals Brillant. This is a work composed in 1831 when Chopin was 21 years old. In Chopin's homeland of Poland, the insurrection that had started in Warsaw in 1830 had ended in defeat. At this time, Chopin was in Paris and a strong supporter of Poland. In the commentary of the revolutionary etude, it was explained that Chopin received the news of the fall in Warsaw while en route to Vienna in Stuttgart, Germany. This song was composed after Chopin had left Vienna to live in Paris. At the time, Austria was opposed to Polish independence. It was partly because Austria was one of the nations that had divided up Poland, but also because they feared the uprising would spread to Austria. Because of this, living in Vienna had been difficult for the Polish Chopin. In Vienna, waltzes designed for dancing were in fashion. This piece, while unquestionably a masterpiece, is something of a contrast to Chopin's other works. It seems to reflect the atmosphere in Vienna at that time. Though, it was probably not meant to be danced to. In order for the Polish Chopin to live in the adverse winds of that time, he might have made an effort to be popular. Chopin appeared at salons and dinner parties performing music for small audiences.
It is said that after these performances, Chopin returned to his room and played his piano furiously. He must have felt a frustrating anger towards himself. Forced to suppress his true feelings, put on a mask, and perform music to please people. In contrast to the cheerful style of this piece, Chopin's heart was most likely not nearly as high-spirited. It was wonderful. Everyone danced so beautifully. I wish I could dance like that. Yeah, and wow, I never knew Frederick was that good either. Huh? Good at what? At the piano, of course. Weren't you watching? Didn't you see him playing? The way he played was just so amazing. Way better than any piano player I've ever heard before. It was almost like he was a real professional pianist. What? Are you saying Frederick was playing that music? I was watching the people dancing the whole time. I didn't pay any attention to who was playing the music. Hey, you guys! We have to go see the captain. Hurry! See the captain? You two need to stop calling him the captain. You should call him Prince Crescendo, for he is the Prince of Baroque. I'll bet the captain's going to have a face prepared to thank Frederick for playing the piano. It isn't fair if they get a head start. Oh, so Frederick has already gone to join Prince Crescendo? Yeah, and if we don't hurry up, they'll eat all the food. I wonder if they're going to feed us something really good. Come on, let's go. I don't want to miss out on that. So yeah, there are a lot of people in here. The feeling of her hands as I held them still lingers fresh. Soft and gentle, they felt as they would melt away if I were to squeeze them too strongly. Um, okay, you sound like a character from a Shakespearean play. I don't feel like talking to everyone because I don't think it's really necessary. But there are a lot of things in this castle. Like, first, we should go here. And we want to go into the east hallway. I believe we want to go into this first door right here. Uh, no. Um, I, maybe it's at the end of this room, because there is an item. No, it's not that room either. Yes, this is the one. We acquired a score piece. And, hmm, let's talk to this person. Lately, people are saying there may be a war brewing between Baroque and Forte. You folks are from Forte, right? Have you heard anything? Uh, yes. We have. Because we are with Andantino. And, uh, yeah, we can play a score piece with this person. So yeah, we want to um, perform score pieces two and three. That was close. It was just missing a little something. We could try again. But hurry up. 
Okay, um, let's do it again. Okay, now, um, we want to go up the stairs. You can go up any set of stairs, I think. So, yeah, um... We're on the second floor hallway now. So, um... This... This room leads to something later. Like, this room isn't important for right now. So now we want to go, like, in the curved hallway. Actually, let's talk to this person first. Lately, I've gotten to fortune telling. Using tarot cards, I can really see people's future. Okay, you're a persona character. Hmm. Believe we can play a score piece with this person. Yes, we can. Yeah, so let's do it. We want to play, um, score pieces one and seven. Alright, so, um, yeah, the Ezzy string phone doesn't do anything. Let's play seven. I'm sorry you were hoping for a more elegant sound, but I don't care. I'm supposed to learn the Baroque dance by the next ball for my debut into society. My dance instructor is really mean. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, that sucks. Uh, my job is to care for the flowers, giving them water, making sure they, they get sun. Um, okay. Let's loop back around. And, um, we don't want to go into that door yet. First, we want to go into this room, because it contains something for us. We want to go over to this clock. What a beautiful clock! It looks like it's made of emerald, hmm? Something's moving with the pendulum. Required a score piece? Alright. Now, that's all we can do for now. I guess we can talk to all the NPCs, but I don't think we need to. So, um, let's go in. Mr. Chopin, thank you for your stellar performance. Allow me to introduce my fiancé. This is Serenade, and the little one with her is Minuet. Hello. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey. What's going on here, Salsa? They're just talking about boring stuff. I don't see food anywhere. Well, I just thought they were probably going to eat all the good stuff before we could get here. There is something I wanted to tell all of you about the position Baroque is in right now. Count Waltz is using mineral powder to convert his population into soldiers who fear nothing, not even death, to create an unstoppable army. As soon as his preparations are complete, it is almost certain that he and his armies will invade Baroque. However, if Baroque were to preemptively challenge Forte, many innocent civilians would surely get caught up in the resulting all-out war. The suffering of innocence is one of the greatest tragedies of war. It's appalling. So, what are you gonna do now? Well, I thought that the solution to the problem would be to find a way to assassinate Count Waltz to avoid any other casualties. So I aided on Dantino. But you see, 
I am opposed to that plan. I believe assassination would be the equivalent of a declaration of war against Forte. And if we were to do that, would it not be the same kind of evil for which Count Waltz is responsible? History always repeats itself. Even if we managed to succeed in assassinating Count Waltz, another Count Waltz would appear, then another. The problem itself would still remain. If we throw all our support behind a band of rebels, I believe it will be Baroque that is disgraced in the end. I see. And you're correct. Looking back on history, mankind does indeed repeat the same mistakes, over and over again. Someone else with evil designs will surely appear to fill the void. If it's really as important as all that, how can people just forget about it? It's because the passage of time allows us to forget tragic and painful events. We let them go so that we're able to continue on with our lives. Like letters written in sand and then blown away by the wind, they're all forgotten. But there are some things we must never forget, no matter what. Tragic memories that we have to carve firmly in stone so that the wind can never blow them away. I have a favor to ask. I understand that all of you are acquainted with Jazz? There is a message I would like you to pass on to him. It is this. Baroque can no longer provide you with any assistance. No matter how much of a tyrant Count Waltz may be, there is no way we can be absolutely certain that he will ever attack us. If we were to make a preemptive strike against him, it would be a classic example of man's suspicious nature leading him to war. Serenade, I know in my heart that everything you've said is correct. That's why I wanted... What is it, Captain? It's nothing. We must achieve true peace, not simply the appearance of it. But, because of the current situation with Forte, there is no way I can leave Baroque at the present time. Besides, if I were to be seen making contact with Andantino, that very thing alone could act as a trigger for war. Is there any way you could meet with Jazz and tell him for me that this struggle itself is the very thing that's leading the world into chaos? What do you mean, exactly? You want us to inform Andantino that Baroque can no longer provide support for its actions? I know that it's selfish of me to ask this of you. Yes, you're right. As you say, it is rather selfish of you. Uh, Frederick? Up until now, you have been providing Andantino with support, is that correct? Denying them that support because your opinions have changed is rather irresponsible. That may be true, but you must understand. We have come to realize that the actions we have taken up to this point have been mistaken. Regardless of the criticism that we may face later, should we not correct those mistakes? I imagine it won't be difficult for the two of you to shake off any criticism. However, have you stopped to consider what this will do to Andantino, who will be cut off without any warning? Of course, it wasn't our intention for the people of Andantino, or Forte, to suffer. And yet, as the Prince of Baroque, I have a duty to put the welfare of my people above all else in any decision. Then, Prince Crescendo, do you admit that you are merely using Andantino to push forward the interests of Baroque? It is rather convenient that your ties to a rebel band from a neighboring country could so easily be severed once the need arose. That is not true! Prince Crescendo would never do anything like that! That's enough. Jazz and I have known each other since the days of our youth. 
We may have different social positions, but he has always been someone I could confide in and speak openly to. Really? I didn't know that. But then, why is Jazz living in Forte instead of here? Are you familiar with Mount Rock? It's a mountain rich in ore located on the Forte border. I know all about it, thanks to all the digging Forte's been doing out there. Hagogo Forest is in big trouble. Jazz is originally from that area. And through its history, Forte has always maintained very strict control over that place. Oppressively strict. Many people have opposed their cruel treatment of the miners, as well as their utter disregard for the delicate ecology of the mountain. Unlike me, Jazz was always a passionate leader. Since we were young, he's always had a talent for him, making decisions and taking action. So, to be honest, when I heard he had taken part in a revolt of the Forte Miners, well, knowing him, I can't say it came as much of a surprise at all. So what happened in the revolt? Forte's forces showed the Miners no mercy. Much blood was spilled. By the time Baroque intervened, it was over. After that, Jazz never returned to Baroque. He founded Andantino to continue his fight against Forte. And that's why you agreed to cooperate with them. Even though I shared his feelings when we were younger, there was nothing I could do then to help his cause. But now, I owed it to him to offer my support, especially since we're both trying to accomplish the same goal. Believe me, even though I can no longer support Jazz directly, I haven't forsaken that bond of friendship. With Serenade's help, I'm hoping to find a peaceful means for both our countries to live happily side by side. Frederick, I believe Prince Crescendo. I think what he's trying to do makes a lot of sense. Yes. Now that you've explained it, I can also understand your point of view. We'll make certain to convey your feelings to Jazz. Great! Then we can get going! I bet Reto and the others are all looking for us anyway. If we can get back to Retardando somehow, I'm sure we can find Jazz and everyone else. All right. Then let's return to Retardando. If Allegretto and the others are all right, I expect they are on the way there as well. Hmm, I wonder if March is holding out okay. She's hopeless without me around. Very interesting how they're trying to find peace between both countries. All right, let's leave. Actually, first let's talk to these people. Please be careful. Or the prince and princess, why do they call them these people? <laughs> You're the only people I, I could ask to do this. You have my deepest gratitude. All right, now let's go.